Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, my name is Keith from Grove English Center. Today I will be your examiner for the IELTS speaking test. At the beginning, what is your full name? Mm, my full name is Paul Pete, and now you can call me Wood. Okay, Wood. R U N C H. Uh, how are you today? Um, it's a happy day, so I'm happy so. Okay. And now in this first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Uh, how old are you, French? Um, I'm 15 years old and I'm studying as Taiping High School. Yes. Uh, now let's talk about your hometown. Where is your hometown? Yes, I was born and raised in the Vietnam province, which is located in the center of Vietnam. As my hometown is famous for the cuisine, like bread noodle or the galau in the Hoi So if you have a plan to go there, you might try it. Okay. It's mm -hmm. uh, what do you like the most about your hometown? Um, to be honest, I like everything is my hometown was. I think it was like most in the peaceful in here because in my hometown there are air fresh and I will rest up with some bone sounds so I think it's, it's really peaceful for me. Okay, what uh what about the cost of living in your hometown? Uh my hometown is quite small and quite undeveloped, so the cost of living in here is pretty active. We can buy uh, some fresh vegetable or some delicious food with a small of money. Yes. Now, how about the pace of life in your hometown? Yes, and you know, my hometown is quite small and quite undeveloped, so the pace of life in here is quite small, and it is it really fits for the house people who want live in the beautiful place with the place of life is love. Okay, now let's talk about hobbies. What are your hobbies, Wench? Um, my hobby is reading a book in the little town. Um, I spend about two hours to read a book, especially the science book. Uh, do you like coffee? I don't like the coffee at all because in the coffee has some coffee in which make me can't sleep so I don't want this. Mm -hmm. uh, what food do you like? It's a home food which made by the mother, my mother because it's so delicious and give me the feeling that I come home and it's easy to try to eat with my family together. Yes. Uh, do you like eating fast food? Mm, yes, but I know that it's pretty harmful for my hair, so I just eat it one at the blue light, but I can know that it's really delicious. Okay. What's in the blue? Blue. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Now let's talk about weather. What's the weather like in your country? Mm, my country has a tropical climate that is depend on the reason where you are. If you come to the north of the cities of the country, you can enjoy the four season, spring, summer, fall, and winter. But if you come to the center or the south of Vietnam, you can see the two separate seasons that are the right and friendly. Okay. Um, does the weather affect your mood? Uh, absolutely, yes. I think the weather is for everyone's mood. Like, if the weather is really hot, it's easy to drive me crazy or angry. But if the weather is mild and has some for me, I think it's really com I'm comfortable. What is your favorite 
favorite season? Uh, it's probably the winter because uh, the weather in the winter is quite chilly and it's I can chilling in the night back all day or sleep all day is quite cool and wearing the blanket and I can wash myself with coffee. Um, do you watch the weather forecast brunch? Um, I really watch the weather forecast and I just watch this when I have a dinner with my family together and the TV so the weather forecast. But I love watch the weather forecast if I have a dream because I think that it's pretty necessary. Uh, now we move to the next part of the test. In this part, I'm going to give you a topic and I, I'd like you to talk about it from one to two minutes. Before you talk, you will have one minute to prepare for what you are going to say and you can take notes if you wish. Do you understand? Here is some paper and a pen for taking notes. Here is your topic. I'd like you to talk about a tourist attraction you once visited. You should say uh, what the attraction was, when you visited it, why you went there, and you enjoyed the visit or not. Okay? Beautiful seeds. 
and when I come home, everything starts and I really enjoy the trip and I think it's a perfect trip for me with my family together. Okay, that was such a great trip, right? Yeah. Um, we've been talking about the tourist attraction you once visited. Now we move to the next part. In this part, I'm going to ask you some questions related to this topic. Mm. What do you think are the benefits of traveling? Yeah, traveling has a lot of benefits. First of all, I think that if we have a regard a fresh and of the from the past day, we move to another place and, and we can grab uh, another move which make me can reduce stress and relax. The second I think is can give them give me a opportunity to make a more relationships, more friends, make all people in our world of life and find find them. I think it's giving strength to enrich the knowledge because if you go to another place you will know more information about the traditional and culture of this place. Okay. Um, why do you think tourism is so developed now? Uh, because in nowadays, has a lot of people require the high entertainment activity. So, uh, yes. so some company develop the choice server to server for them and it gives them a lot of money so it's develop more and develop more and so okay uh, what kind of transport do you prefer on holidays uh i prefer you a motorbike because it was more and easily to go another place without any difficult and or like go to a small road or the narrow road and we just might pay must pay a small money for the picture. Mm, do you prefer traveling alone or in two group? I think a two group is perfect for me because I'm a person who now who not good at plan the trip so I need someone to plan for a trip for me like find the accommodation uh, and find the tourist attention where we will go to and we can share the cost of trip together. Yeah. Okay great. It's the end of the test. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye.